Today's Ask Storm Team 11 question comes from Debbie Powers. She asked what's happening at the top of the cloud. She's talking about this right here. This is your cumulonimbus cloud you see in the case of a thunderstorm, but we're going to break it apart and talk first about cloud iridescence. First, sunlight interacts with lots of tiny raindrops and ice crystals. You need them to be uniform in size and you need a wispy thin cloud like this in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. It doesn't have to sit on top of a cloud like it is in this case, but in order to get that iridescence or that rainbow like effect, you need those thin clouds and the sun will actually cause the light to diffract or bend, creating a prism like you would see in the case of a rainbow. Now the Pileus part, that's one of my favorite clouds that you could see right here. It's that cap like feature most common on top of cumulonimbus clouds like you see right there and basically warm humid air rises in the case of a strong updraft of a thunderstorm. It meets moisture aloft or on top of the clouds and as that warm air punches through the moisture, you get this cap like feature thanks to some of the wind flow aloft. Do you have a weather question for us? Just ask Storm Team 11 anytime by going to WJHL.com.